Phone um, you played my cousin Vlad in pickleball. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, <laughs> just a funny sentence. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I, man, uh, he usually beats me, but then last time I played him, I beat him in two games, then he beat me in like four. Yeah. And oh, then, you played him before? I thought this was like... No, I've played him like three or four times. I introduced him to Pickleball. Did we you? played it at Newcastle Comedy oh, Fest. When you introduce someone and they start beating you, that's oh, dude, rough. Because he's tennis. He's a tennis head. Yeah. So he plays those deep shots that always go around you by about, I don't know, 10 centimeters. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like, I think... I find it with tennis players, you're at the net and the ball will always go past you. Yeah. Like at around a 10, 20 centimeter mark and it's deep. <laughs> hit it deep what a passing yeah. shot. Yeah, yeah it was just. So you hit it, I find you, when you play another not, pickleball player, they're the like. Point of both balls, yeah. Well, I find they're just hitting it like deep. Whereas like a pickleball person will like go for little droppies little, and shit yeah. like that. You know what I mean? Little like, doinkers. Little doinkers. Little and, dinks. Dinks and doinks. Anyway, today I beat him 4 2. I thought he was going to crush me because he said, man, I've been playing yeah. tennis for three hours a day. Are we uh, going? I think we're going. Yeah, think yeah. All right, cool. I think Is the video yeah, so videos the, going too? Got to get Oh, we got the video. video. Whoa. Whoa. Look, I'm a hat guy now. I'm an hey, indoors hat guy. You're a hat guy? Uh, Sydney, I'm a hat guy. I mean, you you got to get, get out of that sun. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I was wearing a hat a lot in Hawaii and then I've, I've now pivoted to a uh, – uh, an Australian hat guy too. Interesting. And there's yeah. absolutely no correlation here with any sort of like observations you've made about your hairline or anything like that? No. Oh. Yeah, he's still rocking the hair. Yeah, yeah. it's just like crazy. Okay. Oh, yeah. But you think an indoor hat guy is essentially a balding guy? Well, I just think it slowly takes hold. Ah, I think it's often right. like when even doubt arising or even thinking yeah. about that, worrying yeah. about it, yeah. it just makes you feel safer to be wearing a hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. Which yeah. is fine. It's a safety net, the hat. Mm. Yeah. I hate hats. I hate them. But sometimes I'll just wear one. You had and one. I don't know why. Yeah, you wore one on the on a podcast the couple other day. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know why. I was no? just, I just w- was w- not wearing it, not liking it. I don't know why. I've been getting into them more recently. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I used to hate them. Yeah. Now I feel like I look fine. I've got a few that match me and i do you got a couple of hats yeah i've got a couple yeah, of hats. Couple baseball of hats. hats we're yeah. not talking fucking like uh, yeah a cobra yeah. although i will say no not a cooper's <laughs> no, i'm not getting into a cooper like if i was i would not be admitting it publicly <laughs> i would experiment with, with that in private for years yeah. before <laughs> even showing my sister or something well it's like brett showed up in hawaii wearing a full a cobra mm-hmm. right yeah. and he was rocking it the whole time he wore it to my wedding yeah and he looked like I don't know, Freddy Krueger. He looked like a Las Vegas Tiger trainer. Yeah, like, you know, one of those blokes you see that's giving a presentation in yeah. Australia Zoo. Yeah. Like, thing. gather around. <laughs> I feel like different levels of people, are, well, not levels, but, you know, different types of people are, are different levels of preparation away from a fashion statement. Yeah. I'm two years of silent preparation and then one year of family exposure away from wearing an Akubra. Uh-huh. Brett is one compliment from a saleswoman away. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at all times from any outfit I'm gonna <laughs> that's all it takes one 17 yeah. year old girl says you look nice in that it's on yeah, he's yeah. purchased it and he's wearing it to a wedding yeah 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 a cobra leather jacket uh, vest whatever yeah whatever's yeah. working that day for someone who's socially obligated to give you a compliment yeah, dude but it is a hard launch to show yeah. up socially in a hat of that fashion. I will I had say... a wide brim on a guy is fucking... <laughs> oh, dude, fuck, the bravery. It is, is brave. It's so brave. Wedding's almost not a bad place to do it. Yeah, it's wedding's Because good. you are kind of yeah. meant to dress up. You're meant to experiment. You were wearing... I mean, we were all at uh, Goldstein's wedding recently. You were wearing like an experimental... Sorry, that's the wrong <laughs> place to use. Yeah. You looked like Elvis a bit. Yeah, a blue suit. Yeah. It was like a Miami yeah. Vice. Yeah. Big yeah, shoulder yeah. pads. It was a move. You what? looked cool. I liked the look. Yeah, but it was yeah. like a bold look. Like yeah. you were experimenting uh-huh. in a way that I never would. <laughs> I was I was I went bold because I was like, it's su- it's a summer wedding. Mm, totally. And I wanted to wear a yellow suit at my wedding and my wife wouldn't let me. Oh. So this was like, all right, well, I get to wear something crazy at Goldstein's wedding. Can but I ask it you? It turned a... out it, ter- it looked actually really good, which was crazy. Uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> and the color actually matched my suit. You actually kind of stole my thunder. On yeah, the I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah people, were like, people were like, people were like, to wear a cooler, more kind yeah. of. the groom? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like wearing a white dress as a woman. Yeah, Sharon <laughs> put her hand on me weirdly a couple of times. It was kind of weird. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed she was staring at <laughs> she you from the me altar. a few times like, here's to you and me, honey. <laughs> it was kind of weird. I don't but, know what's <laughs> worse, the fact that you're cucking him or implying that Shannon's eyesight is so bad <laughs> 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 that she's just color-coded in, in yeah. her affection goes. <laughs> well, I don't know. Your, your outfit was that unmemorable. I can't remember it. That's, yeah. that, yep. That's I mean, what that, that, that means. That's where I'm memorable. <laughs> yeah. That's like before we started recording, you're like, oh, this guy beat me a pickleball. He was doing this thing where he hit the ball past me. It's like, yep, no, that's the purpose of that. It's a deep shot. <laughs> it's a deep shot that tennis players the do. The ends of your sentences don't need to be said. <laughs> <laughs> we get where you're going halfway. I thought I was getting, I was trying to impress Mike with my tennis knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, like, you know, they do play differently. Can I ask you a question? about because it was my observation part particularly maybe because of this podcast but also because you're a close friend of mike's Mm -hmm. um there were worlds colliding on and from mike's perspective he's got these american friends yeah and then he's got these new well not that new but you know relatively new friends he's made in australia they're coming together to some degree they've we've each heard about the other group yeah it was my understanding speaking to these americans the first few days i got there you loomed large in their mind (laughs) There was lots of talk <laughs> of like this crazy <laughs> Kappa character yeah, yeah, yeah. that's on the podcast. Because some of them, I think, listen to this podcast in part because they think it's funny in part yeah. to connect with Mike. Yes. Did you know this and feel an obligation to live up to this? And is that partly why you wore that suit? Oh, no, no, no. That was the last thing on my mind. Mm. I was like, I, I was worried about Mike's friends. I thought they were all going to tease me. <laughs> <laughs> Did they not? <laughs> I was not there to impress them. I was like, they're all going to they're all gonna tease me. So you were nervous to an extent. Yeah, yeah Isn't that what like, you do like, to people you're worried will tease you, try to impress them? <laughs> Mike's like, oh, look, I've, all my friends, uh, you know, they're a bunch of soulless predators like me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that sounds like something I'd say. Yeah. yeah, well, that was a fun thing about it, actually, yeah. is because in my mind, yeah, um, Goldstein is a, a jockey American yeah. man who's yeah. now in Australia. But he's a comedian, but he's kind of the brand of comedian. He's the jockeyest comedian Am I? in Australia, no. I would say, maybe. Yeah, There's maybe. jockeyer, surely. But yeah. to his friends, he's the artist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're all like yeah. he's halfway between you're like, oh yeah. my god, there's a level of jockey of Kansas City kind yeah. of yeah. 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 further yeah. down the spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it, dude. Yeah, it's yeah. like, whoa, yeah. Now, how pro- deep does this shit go? <laughs> Man, that's probably the only thing Mike and I have in common is I'm the same with my mates. Like in Melbourne, I'm yes. some kind of bloke that fixes cars and stuff and you yes. knows things about motorbikes, but they see you get- acting on commercials and they're like, Look at this airy fairy dude, yeah, 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 type. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the way I hold a spanner and stuff on our motorbike rides, yeah, just, you can tell they just look at me like, what's this guy, a ballerina? <laughs> 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 Has he ever picked up a hammer before in his life? It's the <laughs> same with my friends from school. I'm the jock. They're all dweebier than me. If you can believe this. Right. Oh, um, all right. I don't know. <laughs> so it's flipped. <laughs> yeah. okay. We're all the least of the vibe we are compared to those we grew up So with. you're the right. king of games workshop. <laughs> yeah, I'm the guy who left. <laughs> They're all still there painting. <laughs> Dear Tom flipped the guy off at Magic the Gathering the other night. What a fucking job. Yeah, Dude, this guy's cool as hell. Yeah. He doesn't give a hoot about the rules. He said, fuck you, dragons. Yeah, what the yeah. hell, dude? Yeah. Oh, no, dude. They, yeah, no, I, I, no, I wasn't nervous at all. But I was saying to Mike, uh, you know, we told this on an episode before, it was less of like a um come together it was more of a mike victim support group <laughs> oh yes like totally. yeah he did this to me oh yeah he did that to me too once yeah, oh, just, what, oh, yeah. Bullying. what about this story nah. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, i didn't have any conversations with any of his american friends where they framed themselves as victims of him <laughs> yeah. oh, i got the vibe that he that they were maybe bri bri the little brother <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah 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 but the other dudes no it was oh, all yeah, equal yeah, share bro- bullying mm, yeah, you yeah. know wells and buck took his fair share he listens to this so yeah yeah, yeah. back me up <laughs> <laughs> can i say a faux pas that i did yeah, yeah. which was bad on the wedding or mm. on the wedding day yeah on the wedding day i was um on the way sitting next to brian so it was in a minivan yeah, yeah. and you know there's the seats you get into a minivan and then you know there's up the front and then you get and there's like one there's all like a column of one seat by themselves and then there's like the aisle where you walk yeah. up and down and then there's a seat with like spots for two people yeah i which is often the move go and sat by myself like in one of the ones then you kind of you know yeah you're autonomous you've got your own vibe across the aisle from me was brian 
And then next to him was one of Shannon's sisters. Uh-huh. I forget yeah. her name. Yeah. I apologize. Leah or Lauren. Leah or Lauren. Let's mm. just say it was Lauren. Yeah. yeah. They're twins. Just for the purpose Doesn't matter. of, well, yeah. this is the thing. Okay. <laughs> I fucking put my foot in it hard. Yeah. Because I had spoken to Brian a few times before. Yeah. and But I was kind of like, they're, so Lauren, let's say, and Brian, they're next to each other. So they're more obliged to chat than yeah. I am. And yeah. I can just pop in whenever I want, which yeah. is perfect. That's why I yeah. closed the autonomous one. I get to look out the window and then yeah. come back to this conversation whenever I want. Yeah, yeah, whereas yeah. they have to keep it going for 45 minutes. <laughs> so I'm sitting there. And then, yeah, I was chatting to them for a bit and then turned and was looking because it's crazy scenery as we drive yeah, out. Beautiful. To this, yeah. Um, drive around this Hawaiian island. And then I hear them talking about, which I've talked to Brian before about, he has twins. He um, had kids relatively recently yeah. and then had twins, one boy, one girl. And um, I think we'd spoken a bit already about the challenges of that. Like you, you plan yeah, for one yeah. kid and now you've got two, you know, more expensive, mm. more to deal with. But at the same time, one boy, one girl, maybe they're kind of done. Like there's positives as well. Yeah. And I've already kind of had that kind of the negatives, but the positives chat. And I can feel like they're having it over there. And I've kind of already done with them, but I thought thought of another one. I'm like, well, it's good, you know, a positive is they're not identical twins. Because <laughs> identical twins, there's just like a more of an obligation to like, because I grew up with some identical yeah, twins. Yeah. It's a bit hard apparent. You've got to give, make sure they have their individuality. Yeah. But, you know, there's just another challenge on top of, I was going into uh-huh. that. And I said something along those lines and Brian just didn't say anything. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, Brian, you know, wait, like, wait, wait. What, what's going on? And then he goes, Lauren's an identical twin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like, right, okay. And Lauren's there like, mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm full just said how it like you didn't, basically sucks to have yeah, Brian. You didn't yeah. realize there was two of the same lady on the bus? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the, the twin was there. <laughs> the twin was right behind right her. Right in front of her, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew they were sisters. They look pretty similar. Yeah. But I suppose I was, I was just in the, you know, Come up with a new thing to say, and I've got yeah. like a, I suppose a few stories about identical yeah. twins. I'm trying yeah. to like segue yeah, into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking about keeping the chat going. Really, <laughs> yeah, they both came out fucked up. These ones I grew up with, they both came out. My really point wasn't they got fucked up. Is that there's an additional or he's like my ultimate challenge. fantasy is twins. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like oh identical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. yeah, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Imagine doing the other one. <laughs> if you give one an orgasm, the other one feels it. <laughs> that other lady on the bus, she looks a lot like you. I think it'd be your twin. <laughs> <laughs> and I tried to like justify like I'm not saying it's worse obviously I'm just saying like yep. there is an additional thing to think about if you're parenting yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. and said that and then to Lauren was like oh like that, did you find you know there was an additional challenge of like identity or something and yeah. she's like no I loved it <laughs> just didn't let me off the hook at all I'm like fair enough like let me squirm ah oh, dude I love, uh, it. I love it when that happens I mean I twins it. are deeply weird when you think about it <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Imagine. I mean, in my high school, we had there's twins. One was like the star quarterback, like all the testosterone, Ooh. and then his brother was like the most flaming gay guy anyone oh, right. ever met. And wow. that dichotomy of you know twins mm. just being one got all the testosterone, the other one. You I know. don't know about this. One got all the testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that's how it works. Yeah, estrogen. Thanks for that's what in makes it gay. <laughs> Just saying it this is how just I, like sliding I out diagnosed that's what it. happened in the womb. Testosterone means strength. One was gay. That's what it sounds like actually yeah, occurred. Yeah, yeah. And one was going to swap. Like, it was a scientific thing. She was lying too much on her right thumb. Bone axe is 100% <laughs> science back. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I went to the school of uh, Dr. Joe Rogan. Dr. Joe Rogan. That's almost what you want, though. You want real difference. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I feel like I just grew yeah. up with a few where, like, They'd have their own birthday. I mean, it was just a decision-making process for the parents. Like, how much do we... Because obviously, it's fine that they're twins. They do look very similar. Yeah. But, like, do you want them to have their own identity? Remember, there were two that went to my school that were very identical. Couldn't tell them apart, except one had a mole above his right. Ah. Uh. And then, so you kind of knew who that was. You knew uh. that was, like, Alex. If yeah. You saw the mole. Uh. And um, then in year 11, I said... Um, so, one was Alex, one was... Um, fuck no. Anyway, I tried to add, I tried to do fake names, but then I just added a real name because <laughs> I, I was like, "What's so a random Alex name?" And then the real yeah. name came to me. Yeah, let's go. One was Alex, and one was Steve. And um, so in, and and Alex is the one with the mole. And then in year eleven, like first week, I'm like, "Oh, see the guy, no mole." I'm like, "Steve, how's it going?" And he's like, "I'm actually Alex." And I'm like, "Oh my god, he's had the mole removed." 
<laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you do yeah, that? Yeah, removed. And yeah. then no one could tell it because we've uh, all just been yeah, basing yeah. it on mole the whole... Uh, oh, fuck, dude. That's so funny. Which, yeah. But maybe then that's... Because if you're quite similar, then maybe you want to be more similar because if the, the small differentiating factors you wouldn't like. It's boarding school of... was um, so brutal. There was a twins at boarding school. I've told Mike this story yeah. before. And one was kind of a little bit more annoying than the other one. And uh, we watched... <laughs> There yeah, always that's rough is. when that's the differentiating factor. <laughs> yeah, but well. there always is one more annoying. And uh, yeah, we watched the movie Twins where Arnie's guy, and then they call Danny DeVito the leftover shit. Yeah. The doctor calls him leftover shit. Mm. And that just became that guy. Oh, oh he was guy. DeVito. Yeah, yeah, we were like, you're the leftover shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was his nickname, leftover But they're shit. identical? <laughs> yeah, they're identical. I've never like, thought about you know, what like, the movie you're... Twins must have done to twins. Yeah. Absolute nightmare in yeah, that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Someone's yeah, always yeah. a DeVito, yeah, even if you're identical. Well, that'll push one to be on the Grin Iron team. Yeah. yeah. We, uh, my brother and I, uh, we've been, uh, I've been staying at his place, and this lady at the supermarket yesterday goes, oh, are you, are you boys brothers? Mm. And we're like, yeah, we are, as a matter of fact. And she goes, are you older to me? And I'm like, yeah, I am. She goes, you can tell you're older because as the older one gets older, they're usually shorter than the younger one. And I'm like, I'm not shorter than my fucking brother. I'm That's- taller than him. Right, you do, just, do science with the, Mike Goldstein? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what yeah, the yeah. hell kind of thing is that? Usually you know they're older because they're shorter. Hang yeah. on. You, you don't get Maybe that much Maybe if you're 30 smaller. years <laughs> older and like your fucking scoliosis and now, is kicked now in now that I am <laughs> Now I am kind of as short. I used to be taller than him, like way taller. Oh, right. so it's true. So it's true. Yeah, the, the older one apparently gets shorter. Yeah. But if you put you old. guys like <laughs> next to each other, do you look shorter than him? No, not really. Okay. No. So she anyway, just. So he's, how did so she know that? This lady's sure. crazy. I don't know. <laughs> I was. I was. I was like livid. I right. was like, this is the only thing I've got over my brother. So the right. claim here yeah. is that what older brothers specifically shrink. Yeah. Apparently they're shorter. They always come out shorter. And I was. Oh, like, you mean always start shorter their whole lives? Not they become. I shorter. thought you were saying get shorter. Yeah. yeah no, I they get shorter because I was always taller than him. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Weird. But you're not shorter than him. Um, I think we're kind of the same size now. Now, yeah. okay, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, there's That's scary. There's a that is scary. There's yeah, no, I'm the oldest. I know it's annoying, <laughs> but I only have a sister. Does that mean I'm going to get taller? Yeah, yeah. You get taller. Okay. <laughs> she, she, she shrinks. You, or you get smaller. this is all bullshit. There's only two options. I wonder which one could be the answer. You get smaller boobs. <laughs> yeah, <I do>. yeah. <laughs> my crazy. nipples get more and more sensitive every year is that part of the sister thing or is that just <laughs> there's a pair of tennis twins the Pliskova sisters and one has like been top 10 for the past I don't know 8 years or whatever and the other one can't crack the top 100 so what is that owing to same exact you mm-hmm. know, obviously they grew up in the same circumstances, same training, everything. But mm-hmm. one is like an elite tennis player and the other just like can't break through. That's actually cool because right. you can as you're if you're an athlete, obviously there's a lot going on. But your biological, like your body, everyone, even if they were the, tried their best and did the perfect mental training, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. There probably would be a max of certain like yeah, my body, for example. Mm. Even if I train, I just wouldn't be a top tennis player. I just couldn't yeah. now, you know. Yeah. Whereas, and then if you're an elite person, you'd be wondering how much of this is mental, how much of this is. Yeah, but she yeah, is yeah. literally identical in, in terms of way. genetics yep. in every way. Yeah. It's just you, you're the fucking in your thing. head. It's yeah, a yeah, mental yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. And then to know that would fuck with your mental state because uh, you'd be overly focused on it. 100%. And I, well, I think it's the, the elite tennis player sister it has more testosterone. Uh, actually, no, probably. Actually. Know, maybe. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> that actually could be true. <laughs> Mike's, Mike's been hanging out at his school, just taking urine tests from this, from these, t- and then now he's doing it at the tennis courts. <laughs> the only <laughs> chemical or hormone he thinks is relevant to anything is testosterone just, because yeah. he injects it into yeah, his yeah, penis. Yeah, every month. yeah, yeah. T straight into my. Everyone's penis. asking yeah. for their their rackets to get signed, and Mike's like, "Can you just piss into this, please? I'm gonna see how much testosterone you got." The uh, um, we had a weird situation the other day. I was hanging out with two friends, mm. and they said we got we got another friend coming along for a beer. Mm. And uh, she rocked up, and I shook her hand. I was like, "Oh, her hand feels so weird, <laughs> like <laughs> quite unique. What? Like it feels a lot smaller." God. The thoughts of a serial killer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Her hand seems quite unique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, her this hand skin. feels different. Oh, that is and then it, silky skin. <laughs> God, no wonder they're I, warning you a friend's coming. They're like, please be normal when she gets here. They're giving you a heads up. He's so verbalizing all these thoughts. Usually people don't get a heads yeah. up that their friend's coming to the party. Yeah, like, you realize in. you're saying it out loud. Yeah. Like, your, this is a unique hand, hand is so weird. No, no, no. <laughs> Let me finish, right? The reason was she had no thumb. Oh, right. Yeah, so... Yeah, that's why. Like, yeah, I was like, totally. oh, this is weird. And then mm. I looked and she had no thumb. Mm. And anyway. The thumb is an essential part of the shake. Yeah. Mm. There's yeah. no, how do you. Dude, it was like, uh, it was, you realize how small the hand is without the thumb. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was. <laughs> These are the thoughts you're having. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The thumb actually yeah, makes yeah. a significant percentage of the hand. <laughs> was there a nub? There's a, there's you a can't tell, Gaspin, you can't tell me a guy who over overanalyzes everything. <laughs> you can't tell me you wouldn't be in this conversation thinking about why doesn't she have a thumb? Because that's exactly what I was thinking. If I'm and at, I'm way dumber than you. No, I'm not saying that I wouldn't be worried about the thumb or thinking about the thumb. I would, I'd be thinking about the emotions of the person without the thumb. How am I expected to yes, act now? Yes, Stuff like that. I wouldn't doing. be thinking, hmm, the thumb is actually a large percentage of the hand. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> thought about that later. Yeah. I did think about that later. I was like, why, was why is her hand so wall. small? <laughs> anyway, I... I was like, I was, I'm not going to bring it up or anything. Yeah. And then after I said, how did she lose her thumb? And then they are like, what? I'm like, your friend, she's missing a thumb. Yeah. And they're like, really? No. And really? I was like, how long have you known her for? And they're like, eight years. Fuck. Jesus. Like, we have never noticed that ever. We'll have a look next time. I'm like, don't look. You know, that that's an indictment on them as people. That means they've never done anything which deserved a thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah, Very good. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they've never got, all out and yeah. not from having community. Yeah, yeah. they've never got to first base for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is there that that I what I don't I can't I don't know what to but say always, unless it's a recent what? thumb removal. Something That's something happened. you tell your friends. Yeah, but do you know what happened at when we were saying goodbye? Yeah, she hugged us at the end. Yes. So I reckon she always goes in for the hug. Never. I think it's the handshake. Um, though, you but notice. Went, you know, it's like, yeah. I went in there. It's the first thing you'd notice <laughs> you'd, about. You'd, you can't well, hide I, went, I, I don't know, man. She was doing a pretty good job Unless because she they, had the wool, wool yeah. over their eyes. She never did the yeah. who has two thumbs and loves to hug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, nope. me. <laughs> no, nope. no. I'd stay away from that joke if yeah. I was trying to conceal my <laughs> lack of a thumb. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if she tried to conceal, I don't think. I think they're just not I very. I think you observant. could only be, de to be deliberate. Yeah, but you notice if someone's even talking to you like this, exactly. like you, you notice an, a nub or a lack of symmetry. I, I don't know. After it was pretty forgettable. She hit it pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah. Did she only hang out with them in winter? I, I, <laughs> oh, you think it was a mitten? Yeah, uh, mitten situation. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, this was a summer. This was summer beers. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. But she was still wearing mittens. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I mean. <laughs> and then what, what are these friends like? Like, have They're you found them to be extremely unobservant? No, no. They just, yeah. I just. Uh, Maybe it shows that you're superficial and they just see the real person. <laughs> that is deep. true, Mike. <laughs> if you know me, I'm a superficial You guy. are, dude. You're obsessed <laughs> uh, uh, with looks and yeah. fucking image. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm currently wearing a, a band t-shirt that nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> One guy from a takeaway shop in Perth commented on it. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, that means nobody knows about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, no Mike, we are in Sydney. We're yeah. in Sydney. Sydney. That's why we're in Sydney with Cashman. Yeah. Man, what Welcome. a beautiful city. Welcome, boys. Yeah, it's good the weather, weather is for great you. today. I've been walking around Crown Street, Surrey Hills. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The vibe is excellent. You know I what read... the Crown Street was named after? What? The King. Who's oh. also in town. Yeah, yeah. I am here. Yeah, exactly. Before someone said the king is in town and Goldstein thought they were talking about him. I was like, I'm yeah. He was yeah. like, hey, yeah, man. It's like, no, the actual king, the, the actual monarch king. of our country. Oh, He's visiting, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know, like mm. I thought it was a sarcastic the king is here, you know? not there could like, be two kings, you know? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you've yeah, ever played yeah. drafts, <laughs> you'll know that. Actually, being in Sydney, uh, I am in trouble with... Uh, friend of the pod dave hughes because i yeah. lied to him uh, and he caught me in the lie what did you lie he messaged me yesterday morning when i was still in melbourne yeah, and he yeah. said uh do you want to play tennis and rather than me going oh i'm watching the chiefs game and then i got a doctor's appointment and then i'm playing pickled like mm. i said i'm in sydney but we'll play when i'm back next week 
And then he talked to too uh, lazy to write. To write, I could have just wrote, "I'm busy today." Yeah, no, no, yeah, the word no. Well, I just thought I, if, to me it was streamlining yeah. the interaction, and you're emotionally there because yeah. you're going very soon. Yeah, and mm. also I would, I know he would have hit me up later in the week. So this yeah, was me preempting 100%. the later in the week message. So this is a huge yes. shutdown. No, well, just oh, me just, going. Yeah. I'm out of town, but yeah, we'll play next yeah. week. Yeah. So I just said, "I'm in Sydney, but I'm back next week. But yeah. We'll get a hit in that." But then he was talking to Ash Williams, who I was playing pickleball with later, and he asked Ash, who are you playing pickleball with? And he said, Goldstein. And then Husey, according to Ash, was like, what the fuck? Why did he lie to me? Yeah. Why did he fucking- uh, yeah. Can I say, um, I judge you here. Yeah. Because I think the lie is all good, but you've just got to make sure that it doesn't get out. Right. If you yeah. know that you're playing pickleball with someone else who later, is friends with Husey. who's a friend with Husey, yeah, that was could a, see him. So the foresight, That's amateur stuff. Y- yeah, I think. Yeah. But I n- wouldn't think that they would have a conversation about who. Why not? I don't. Ash is playing pickleball. I don't know. It don't, just I, didn't I, occur to me. And the fact that it's got to if you're going to lie this flippantly. I know. But the yeah. thing that I was leaving for Sydney the following morning, mm. I thought it was all. That's not what you said. Though. You've got to be the- thinking about what ha- if you're lying about like <laughs> yeah. I'm somewhere that I'm going to be tomorrow. You've yeah. got to be thinking about the rest of your day. <laughs> if you're staying in, yeah. that's fine. But if you're going out gallivanting, someone could do an Insta story. You're in the back. Exactly. Yeah. Nightmare. You can't. Yeah, you <laughs> can't. You can't. There's so, much, the so was- much lying time there. Exactly. You're, you're, you're living the life. What are you for doing so for dinner? Long. You don't know. You who's can live that life for like two hours, but you're living it for a whole day. Exactly. But actually, not fun for you. Yeah, yeah. You've got to be like sneaking around, and then other people see you sneaking. They're like, he looks sneaky. And this is disappointing. Because you're like, you're the best of the snakes. You're the yeah, king of this. Exactly. You're the king of deceit. Well, I thought. <laughs> yeah, well, who are we going to look up to now? <laughs> who am I going to go to when I want to yeah, fucking lie and cheat and he's or whatever? Lost the, he's lost yeah, yeah, he's got <laughs> soft. You know, when the soulless man fucking folds, what else? Uh, what are we going to go? I thought the lie was just streamlining future <laughs> conversations and texts. Yeah, we yeah. get the benefit of it. The benefit yeah. is totally fine. Yeah, and, and true, but the risks. But there's you didn't no think ill will in the actual lie. So should he actually give a shit? Yes, because. Because, well, no, if once you explain it, if he believes you, then sure, he yeah. should forgive you. But it's fishy. It is. He's it's right it. to be like, why did, Why lie? Also, <laughs> What's but man, that fucking mean? You've, you're kind of back because this is classic Goldstein. <laughs> you lied everything and now you're somehow trying to flip it on. I'm future. trying like, to justify. Why should he be angry? Uh, the initial lie was a time-saving <laughs> Yeah, gesture. no, no, I, I, I get yeah. it. But yeah. it's natural and obvious <laughs> yeah. that this person who you lied to, yeah. if they find out you're lying, is like, fishy on it and like what the fuck why is there some other reason he may i believe you that that's the reason and he may come to believe you as well Uh but he is right to think like do you just not want to like why are you fucking lying to me yeah do you just not want to hang yeah. out? Are you fucking doing some other weird shit? Yeah. Like, who else are you like? What else are you like? You should say you're playing tennis with Tom Gleason. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, 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 yeah. Here's, yeah, yeah. well, here's the thing. I get a message from him a couple hours later. This is mm. before I meet up with Ash, and it says, How's Sydney? <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. And so, what did you say? I didn't respond. And then when <laughs> I got to pickleball, Ash is like, Look, QZ's dirty on you. Good. Yeah. Yeah. And then he was like, um, This is actually best case scenario. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I was like, Fuck, I got to respond. And so, then I tried to make it funny, so I found some like watermark picture of the opera house, yeah. and I sent it to him. And I go, "Oh, it's beautiful here. Here, the weather's perfect, and mm-hmm. all this." And then he was kind of like, "Oh yeah, can you just send me a picture with you in it?" And you know, like yeah. was playing it up okay. a bit. Yeah. But then eventually, I was like, "All right, full disclosure. I just didn't have time today, but I'm in Sydney <laughs> from tomorrow." Yeah. And then he was like, "He was like, it's the lying that hurts, and yeah. just and also the fact that I didn't get to play tennis on today, a beautiful day." So he kind of made it like yeah. made me feel guilty. As fuck. Yeah, because <laughs> which you should because you lied to him. I don't see what you're you not get, getting about. You got to get the court next time. You, you know, you got to get the court. It'll oh, fine, even though man. he's very wealthy, I still got to pay for the court. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about that. Yeah, yeah, man. Well, he doesn't drink. You see, Husey can't just have a beer and forget about that shit. I know. Yeah. It's, it's all there. So that's the thing. That now have I sullied the uh, future relationship? With oh, the I don't man. think you've sullied it. I think you will. I'd, I'd love to get a look at specifically what you said. What was your text apology? The text apology was like, oh, yeah, you- full disclosure. Uh, what did I say? Oh, ha, ha, I'm sorry, David. The weather was perfect, too. I just couldn't squeeze it in today. But before that, when justifying the lie. 
Oh, he goes, how about a pic of you on Oxford Street? <laughs> like, it was like he was playing it up, right? There's humor. Yeah, 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 yeah. He knows that I know. He must know that yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah. And then I said, um, yeah, yeah, all right. I leave for Sydney tomorrow. Laugh face emoji. And then he said, yeah, it's the lying that hurts and the lack of tennis mm. in my day, blah, blah, yeah. blah. And then I said, yeah, I'm sorry, but I just couldn't squeeze it in. So that's. No, I, well, I think. I mean, this is just my real opinion. Yeah. I think you haven't yet justified why you lied to him. You've yeah. justified again why you can't play tennis. Right. But he doesn't need you to play tennis. He's like, why are you fucking lying to me, dude? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But now you there's need a, to there's justify now, that. Yeah. You justified to us. <laughs> yeah. You just said to us, oh, I just thought blah, 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 and I wanted to foreshadow that I won't be able to play the, for the rest of the week. Blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. All makes sense to me. I believe you. Yeah. You haven't done him the courtesy. So he, in his team. mind, he's still like, it's just weird he fucking lied. And, exactly. Why yeah. is he fucking lying to me? Can I say, <laughs> and this is where <laughs> motherfuckers like him get away with this shit, yeah. is that he also has the vibe of like, a prankster because yes. and, and the reputation mm. so he kind of gets away with it a bit and it's like oh is this just a weird a joke? joke it's just like oh it's a little prank i guess yeah so this is just the kind of thing he does i think i think also we've let goldstein get away with this behavior for too long <laughs> and then now he's just flying too close to the sun oh, bullshit. you know and then now he just thinks oh, i'm in sydney now yeah he just yeah. thinks he can just talk to people like this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just not get a message back from him. To not even yeah, yeah, have yeah. the decency to lie well is yeah. additionally disrespectful. Yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. I, okay, but then if you're texting back and forth to, to explain the lie, then the initial text of a time-saving gesture is all out the window. It's not a time-saving gesture. Yeah, time-saving gesture. It was time-saving for you. That was the selfish motivation. So, like, yes, your explanation for the lie might outweigh the original... Yeah. length of not lying uh -huh. yeah which is why you shouldn't have lied you idiot <laughs> don't now <laughs> anyway, as, as you're long like as you... oh but the point of the law is safe time so I can't bother to explain why yeah. I lied it's like well yeah but you but then you have the negative impact yeah. of the, he doesn't he's off you yeah, yeah. I, as long as he doesn't think I lied because I didn't want to see him or play tennis like if which is think, what he fears yes. yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, that's specifically what he feels. As a deeply uh, paranoid man, yeah, yeah, you think he might think that? Man. Yeah. <laughs> I think the least paranoid man in the world yeah, yeah, would assume yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unless you gave them any other reason to think why you lied, which you haven't yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, because then the I could have just said, I'm busy today, I leave for Sydney tomorrow, but we'll play next week. But instead, I just go, I'm in Sydney, we'll play next week. I get why you lied. <laughs> you haven't explained this to him I yet. I know, I know, I know. But I'm saying that could have been the initial text. So the yes. justification that it was a, a time-saving thing doesn't hold up. No, either. no, that's wrong. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. that now circumstances have changed. Yeah, now he suspects you. Now there's a bigger problem. Okay. Before there was just a friend who wanted to play tennis. Uh -huh. The problem was how do I let this person down most efficiently? <laughs> that is no longer the problem you're faced with. You've sorted out the tennis issue. Now you're faced with a friend who thinks you're a liar. Yeah, is now insecure about the relationship because they know that they've been lied uh -huh. to. That now you have a bigger problem yeah. caused by your lying. <laughs> And so, yeah, now it'll take more time to solve that problem. But that's your fault. <laughs> yeah. But don't act like they're the same problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Don't act like somehow, yeah, this is Hughes's fault. No, you know not at I mean? all like, Hughes's yeah. fault. Uh, it's Hughes's Can I say fault. the opposite happened to me once? Yeah. yeah. Years ago, when I went on exchange, I went on exchange for six months at uni when I was like 21, and I had a goodbye drinks. Yeah. And a bunch of friends came to these goodbye drinks, including this guy called Dave. And the goodbye drinks, you know, I had to figure out like a time that would suit everyone like wanted to see friends it was like on a friday yeah. night and like 10 days after that i left for six months yeah but maybe seven days after the goodbye drinks i run into dave in the city and he was yeah. pissed off he's like tom <laughs> what the fuck like i didn't go to my auntie's like birthday yeah, yeah. i like canceled a dinner to come to your drinks to say goodbye yeah and you're still here <laughs> and i'm like yeah man i'm gone in a few days i was like oh, like i'm going yeah, he's yeah. like <laughs> All right, man. Okay. And was like full pissed off <laughs> that I hadn't gone quick enough. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, I said I was going to be gone. Yeah. And I was still here. I got to call it the opposite way. You <laughs> wait, wait, wait. How long after the goodbye drinks? <laughs> oh, it's the same, actually. Yeah. It's not even the opposite. Yeah. How old, yeah. How old were you? <laughs> but it's just in the future. Yeah. Hey, man, how old were you when these goodbye drinks happened? 21. 21. Mm. Man, when do you reckon goodbye drinks? for just taking trips, stops. Oh, totally. So probably stops around, what, 25? Yeah. No, no, I reckon if you're still, I think just the period you're away for needs to get bigger. Like yeah. if I was full moving to New York for the rest yes. of my life, let's say like well, my distance wife. is a factor, surely. Distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. True. Leads. But, but, but well, mainly up like, until you're like 25, if you're going on an eight-week in Tiki tour, you kind of have drinks 
before. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> no, you <don't. laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Goodbye drinks when you went to drink other places yeah, for two yeah, weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'd always have fucking drinks. <laughs> Would you? Yeah. But you guys uh, never did that? Well, you had drinks. How long were you going to Europe Six for? months. Six months. Six months is yeah. way longer. Six months, well, yeah. Well, now, now if you were going away for six months. You, you wouldn't. You I don't probably think. wouldn't. Oh, you mm. might, but I reckon maybe you want to be Pretty gone for a year at least yes, to get goodbye drinks. Yes, a year at least goodbye drinks. You wouldn't get many people out. Yeah, Whereas yeah, if I was yeah. moving forever, yeah. then I'd get a lot of people to a goodbye drink. Text into the hotline. What's the cutoff for goodbye drinks? That's cut so off funny. and distance because friend yeah. of the show, Luca Muller, yeah. yes. recently moved Melbourne to Sydney and yeah. he had a big farewell thing. Yeah. And I'm like, eh, yeah. it's you, an hour yeah. flight. But I don't think it's the flight. Sorry, I mean, this is just autistic arguing, but yeah. I think that then it's about regularity with which you, the attendee, goes to the place. Well, as stand-up yes. comedian, surely exactly. a lot. Well, that's what yeah. I mean. So that's yeah. why for Luca, like even if that was Perth, you'd still feel the same way maybe because you go there. Like yeah. it's it's less about distance and more about how often you're there. Of you're, I'm still going to see you, mate. Yeah. You know? Whereas yes. if you go less far yeah. and like if he moved to Bernie in Tasmania, yeah. closer, yeah. but you'd fucking go to the Goodbye Drinks because I'm not going to see you in age. I'm not going down to Tasmania. True. Yes. You know? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. When I moved to uh, Melbourne from Sydney, what, I was 30, I didn't have Goodbye Drinks then. Wow! I just, I just, I just fucking. Took well, because uh, you're a comic. Because I was, yeah, yeah I was gonna you'll be, be back. back and forth. Totally. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I didn't, I didn't have mm. any then. No, no, no. So yeah, it must be around thirty. Yeah. I reckon 20. you could argue that's. I mean, okay, I'm putting another factor in. Yeah. Whether you've moved before and the circumstances of the move. <laughs> okay. If oh you yeah. Move, if, if you're you a moving, moving around guy, mate. I've I've drunk two yeah. so moving before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're done. Yes, yes. That's <laughs> but if true. this is like the first time this person's gone, like it's a bit more of a thing in their life. It's a bit like mm, yeah, good for, on you, mate. As well as yes, yeah, a good vibe. Yeah, you know? the first time in their life. Yeah, you know, they mate doing a big change. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, You're kind yeah, of celebrating yeah. Luca, that as well. Luca, he's not. I mean, he's he was he's he's moving to Sydney. Mm. Not the biggest change. No. It's still going to be a Melbourne lot. Yeah. So totally. it is kind of a bit cheeky to have. But to I think it's rich. also a bit, if, you know, I'm not saying this was on his mind, yeah. but he was moving to Sydney for an exciting job. Ah, yes. So that's it's a true. bit like congratulations. Ah, that's right? a bit ah, congratulations. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Actually, we're back. It's we're not, back on Lucas. It's ah. just not, it's not, not just moving to just see what's going on up there. <laughs> but then also. Like, which is why you were moving, but to then be honest. Also, <laughs> which is why it's a bit less boring. of a drinks thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I think I'm just going to go there. Yeah. Really. I'm just going to go there. Yeah. 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 It was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then there's also the factor that uh, Mike was probably Lucas drinks on were at an inopportune time that you didn't want to get out of the house. Yeah, so I justified mm -hmm. not You justified going. that yeah. by yeah. saying it kind of sucks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah interesting. <laughs> it's almost Whereas if like, you had nothing on that night. It's almost like, <laughs> Gold Steve, if he doesn't want to do something, yeah. will change reality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to suit his ends. <laughs> yeah. Well, because he messaged, he's like, are you coming to the party? And I said, sorry, man, I'm in Sydney. When yes. I was not leaving for Sydney for like a while. And then he's yeah. like, oh, I'm moving to Sydney. And I said, when are you there? And then I said, oh, sorry, I'll be in Melbourne. So I just say I'm in. The you office. actually did this. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I fully believed it. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is just a go to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What about the housewarming party after someone's lived in the house for an extended period of time? To me, if mm. there's fucking oil stands on the garage floor, you're, you're not getting a housewarming party. <laughs> well, then to me, there's different categories. Of like, <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's simply the big differentiating factor is. Do I want to go anyway? Mm, yeah. Because it's like a close friend who's having a party and then they've we've got lots of mutual friends, particularly someone who like I'm closer with and I want to see them, but then also I like their friends. Yeah. So if they have a thing and I only see their friends when they have an event. Yeah, yeah. Those kinds of people, I don't give a fuck what the excuse is. If they're having a party, yeah. I'm yes, there. That's fantastic. That's this is an opportunity. I don't care about housewarming, goodbye, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Get me there. But then there's, so that's one category. Then there's category of like, that's not true. So then to get me <laughs> to that party, you, you need to kind of be celebrating something where me coming is like a gift oh, and okay. a sign of respect uh -huh. and investment in our relationship. Yeah. And then I agree with you. So yeah. if that person's like they've been in the house, like they moved down the street and it's housewarming to the yeah, same fucking yeah. vibe of place yeah, that they always yeah, live. Yeah, yeah. Or they're moving to Sydney for six months and I'm yeah. going to see them anyway. Yeah, yeah. No way I'm coming. Absolutely right. not. But if they're in the first category, I don't yeah. care about the excuse. Oh, Get me true. in there. Let's have some fun. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but 
impromptu drinks, I'm always down for. Mm. If someone goes, Spare oh, let's have moment. a little uh, a housewarming, I'm going away for six months, I'm like, oh, come on. But if someone goes, hey, it's Tuesday, like 2.30, yeah. I say we have a couple of impromptu drinks. And oh, like, that's oh, called fuck being yeah, an I'm, alcoholic. I'm yeah, totally. But so, <laughs> yeah. so this, this, then this is the issue because it's like I like my categories because if you only do a let's have some beers now on a Tuesday, mm. you only get the circle for which your category won. They want to see you. Yeah. They just want to have some fun. Yeah. The only way you get any other people... Which we're all only hanging out with category one anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The only way you ever get outside that is if you pretend something significant has occurred. <laughs> yes. That the kind of your acquaintances need yeah. to come and like yeah. pay homage to and celebrate. So you kind of, I, I do think it's, I pay respect to those people. I, I think those people deserve some thanks for like pretending something's happened in their lives yeah. as an excuse for or, a, uh, like a wedding, to be honest. Is it an excuse for yeah. a big yeah. fun party? Well, we, Mike and I found a loophole because we can just have our, our friends on catch up with them and we don't have to get dinner or drinks or oh anything. yeah yeah, you know, yeah. Like, we just have a podcast Dude, like if you know it wasn't for I mean? podcasts i wouldn't oh have man any new friends i i'm such a fucking <laughs> I, i'll go I, I say to people like deal i'm like dude we'll we'll catch up yeah in between this we'll catch up and then a year later we're sitting in the studio yeah dude we gotta catch up yeah, yeah, yeah. we gotta catch up soon can well, i look through yeah. your phone yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Now, let <laughs> me all these draft texts to you yeah, being like hey capo want to get coffee oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, 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 reworded yeah. all different times <laughs> uh well, right, shit. we should get in the episode <laughs> yeah that's all preamble that is a fucking yeah. long preamble right phone there but uh Ring a ding ding, you got the kings. Welcome to another episode of the Phone Hacks Podcast with me, Mike Goldstein, and the Lady Gaga to my Joaquin Phoenix, Nick Ooh, Capper. Yes. That's you. I don't know what song they sung in. Uh, I don't know. Has anyone seen it? Yeah, I, I don't know. It. J- 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 Joker face. That's it? <laughs> Joker yeah, face. That's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just came up with that. Yeah? Yeah. I, I, I got pretty the... good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I realize it is by Gaga, right? Uh, yeah. Then it's got the word Joker in it. <laughs> For anyone who didn't understand, yeah. I got the name wrong the other day, and I said uh, Joker Filet de Do. <laughs> filet de Do. <laughs> filet de Do. <laughs> and someone said, "Did you say Filet de Do?" <laughs> What's Filet de Do? And like, the fil- sequel's called Folly a Do or folie something. Oh. It's got a French subtitle. Ooh, folie, you know, like Filetio a to a dude. Yeah. Big Filet de Dude. Filet de Oh, dude. I got the Filet de Dude meaning. I just <laughs> yeah, didn't know what it was a player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And I was like, oh, fuck, that's good. You'd see you know? F- Filet of Dude. Yeah, 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 I'd see Filet of Dude. Have sure. you seen that Choker. No. 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 I, I, like a big I, whiff. It's, it's, apparently it's a musical, and I'm like, look, a lot of people are panning it. I'm 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 all for something different, mm. but I don't know if I can sit in a musical. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. Not Particularly a not a Joker one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Mm. Joker porno. Hell yeah. But you got the, like the makeup. Big Joker posters all over your mm. bedroom wall and you know, you got the phone cover. The, Look, I'm just a purist, dude. You just have the I'm why like so no serious musicals. Sure. You know what I mean? I want to see like the killing joke uh. and uh, you know, I'm watching uh Alan you know, Moore's yeah, version, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack Nicholson, all that kind of shit. You know, yeah. the real guys, the real fucking guys. Right. You know? mm. I got no I got no time for the this. Real shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the real fake guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real silly cartoon uh, uh, the, uh, <laughs> But the gritty It's so funny that guys. you have a city joker Like guys in the city Like Sydney and Melbourne that got joker tats Or whatever oh. and you go like oh yeah In cell for sure mm-hmm. But then <laughs> well, I was in Bendigo And there was just Ooh. some some tradie With calves the sides of fucking 44 gallon barrels mm. With the joker tattooing on them I'm like I'm not going to fucking take a photo of these. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy could be the Joker. <laughs> Dude, I hate to say it, but that's a bit. The further out you get away from the city, the yeah. scarier a Joker tattoo becomes. Yeah, 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 yeah. In yeah. a city, it's like, oh, I'm going to bash you. Yeah. And then, then, oh, no, he's going to bash me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Incel goes up, testosterone goes yeah, up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, back to testosterone. Yeah, 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 there you go. As a defining <laughs> characteristic. Face. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not so silly now. <laughs> The premise of the pod is we swap phones and a spinning wheel decides whether we go through notes, camera roll, search history, and Facebook memories has replaced draft tweets unless mm. 
You're a big Facebook threat. You're, you're a threadhead, aren't you, dude? You are a huge threads. Like thread. I listen to this podcast. So I don't yeah. think you fucking appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. You said in some random episode yeah. that I'm posting threads all the time. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> bullshit. And I wasn't. I think because Instagram, it's like yeah. embedded, right? So it gets suggested. True. And so I always see Tom Cashman. It could Cashman. be from a month ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Although more recently I have um, started posting on threads again. I was um in an email with the threads um someone who worked at threads who oh, tries right. to get comedians to um oh yeah post on threads oh yeah right. and so i was posting on threads for just old tweets yeah to yeah. ingratiate myself with someone who worked at meta uh, and then right. i get like emails every week from the person who works at threads being like these are the kind of threads that are working ah uh, yes you've got to use humor and like <laughs> yeah, and sometimes yeah. they'd use your thread and be like this got traction uh, it's like this is what platforms have to do right yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. Get threads popping yeah so you are a threadhead I became one, but at the time that you said it, it wasn't true, but it's subsequently <laughs> become true. So, so man. And I think about you when I'm on there. Uh, yeah. It pisses me off. <laughs> You're their master now. Before you were sucking up the Instagram, going, oh, please. Well, exactly. Push my pictures yeah. to the front of the algorithm. And then now they're like, come on, yeah, Cashman, please. Post. Chuck a tweet please on. post. And come I'm like, on. Don't, adul- don't analyze the, t- the tweets and like, yeah, yeah, say yeah. what works. This Just is my me- fucking art. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I got a weird little dick. I'll tell you how to thread. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, the allusion to dick might be what's working about that. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> but I guess it is effective because I would see that you were posting threads. And I was like, oh, yeah. I guess people are doing this. Some yeah, people are on there. Threads are getting there. I mean, it's, it's kind of like. Um, a mix between Twitter and LinkedIn. Yeah. Real yeah. LinkedIn vibes. Right. I think, oh, really? I think Tw- the Twinkton. algorithm has deliberately been like, we don't want anything political or anything. Mm. Yeah. So like Twitter, anything that's controversial and like makes you angry, like that, that's popping off. Yeah. That gets the algorithm going. I think with this, it's like very like people talking about how to be an entrepreneur and stuff. Oh, and kind yeah, of like yeah. motivational quotes. Uh, yeah. It's very much the vibe of Twitter in 2010, like the kind uh, of like... Yes. Doggo humor, yeah, yeah. very simple, basic oh. kind of. Sounds stuff. like a mess already. Twitter and LinkedIn. Oh, it's, oh, it's really what a no combo. Good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You should start your own Twinked in, and it's just Twink. like where little twinks meet up. <laughs> why would I? People. Why would I be in, um, in charge of such a business? <laughs> you cute twink. Because you'd be the alpha. You'd be the alpha <laughs> of the twinks. You'd be king of the twinks yeah. again. King of the twinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The show title. <laughs> <laughs> king of the twinks. That's pretty awesome. That's I, I never get like you know you never get like. uh Hits and stuff only in your explore page. Yeah, they never just come up randomly when you're scrolling. But every now and then, when it'll show you a thread, yeah, and you're like, I'm not going to do threads. And it's like, fuck. Is there tits on threads? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're trying to use boobs to get people on threads. Uh, They'll go like, it'll be like a girl going like, I've been sober for. 365 she's days pushing her tits and she's just pushing her tits again <laughs> and I fall for it like every time I'm like oh, I wonder I told you it's like LinkedIn yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what you guys are seeing on LinkedIn right I'm like stupid Dude. idiots on threads <laughs> man to get you to like cross apps to look at some tits that's... they don't really Dude, <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got all the porn like... I could I, well, there's probably what a million gigs of porn on the internet and then still the yeah. male brain's still gonna be like I'm just going to check this out from threads. (laughs) You never know. A million gigs. (laughs) Yeah, it's going to be a million gigs of porn out there. I reckon there'll be a bit more. A little bit more. (laughs) (laughs) No, 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 Tom. (laughs) I thought you were specific about this. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> uh so yeah i guess we get into the phones i'll go first cashman just blew his nose so i don't want him touching anything of mine no that's yeah. all right are you are you sick and you sound sick as well cashman. yeah I, I just come off the back of something oh, it's terrible. God. maybe not, i could just hold my phone yeah, yeah. maybe you hold up yeah, yeah. i'm not even i'm sorry or i could do you have hands no on you're my... like a snotty guy I, i'm not <laughs> snotty i'm sniffly <laughs> you're quite snooty i'd say <laughs> sniffly yeah, yeah. well I mean, it's not, I mean, it's often just not much. It's just like running. I've got a bit of a running yeah, nose. Yeah, you're a moist man. Yeah, I'm a moist man. Yeah. Off the nose. You're constantly 100%. leaking some type I of never get sick and then I, I, <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, I get it. sick, I go into total meltdown. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, why the fuck am I sick? I'm so angry at this. Yeah. I'm not even sick. This yeah. is the thing. It He's not sick. When yeah. I, um, he always has a hanky on. He's old school. He has a hanky. Ah, at all yeah, time. because I'm a sniffly guy. Yeah, yeah. Do, my sister's that, the same. I I don't, why doesn't that surprise me at all? You got a hanky. Because you think I'm a respectful gentleman. 
<laughs> it says goodbye to um, it, people as they uh, depart on a, while you're on a train your penny platform. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, because um, my wife, I can say right now, yeah. she's a sniffly person. She's mm. constantly, she? yeah, leaking some mm. type of fluid. Yeah. And she will not do a hanky. Mm. She will do uh, Kleenex in the pocket at all times. And she'll yeah. reuse the same Kleenex. So this is the problem. Yeah. This is what and my mum was like. Yeah. And there were tissues around the house in, in a gross way. It's so disgusting. So I don't like tissue. It's worse. It's and more she will forget she has tissues in the pocket and yeah. is constantly going through the wash. Yeah. And then you're getting little bits yep. exactly. of tissue all through the Welcome clothes. Welcome to my childhood. It's really exactly. fucking disgusting. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. what I do. It's enough. It's <laughs> that's enough. exactly what when I do. When you have a son, yeah. he's going to be a hanky guy. <laughs> <laughs> I like the hanky. I think there's an old school kind of nice element. I mean, let's you, not be ridiculous. God, you surprised me. <laughs> well. I thought you'd be the most anti hanky person ever i think a hank well now that i'm put off kleenex so much i think a hanky is there's a especially if you get a monogram hanky the the, yeah. the pinnacle of class <laughs> <laughs> the original poc yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a BSC. Yeah. I'm the <laughs> pinnacle of class. Um, all right. Well, we'll hand our phones to the right so Cashman will get mine. Eventually, you'll hand yours to Capper, and Capper, I'll get yours. There's the wheel going for. Oh, where's the music? There it is. Oh, yeah. All right. That is search history. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, this could be interesting. Interesting. Let me pull that up. It might be just a lot of boring sports shit. What history? Search history. That's the Google search history in my oh phone. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I haven't checked mine. Oh, uh, well, we'll spin the wheel, so it might not Shit. be. Might, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We this, could... is, this is scary. I forgot to, like, do that. Last time Vet? I was on this, I vetted things. <laughs> did, did you um, do you use incognito window much? No. Nah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Never. Um, so what am I doing? History. This looks strange. I've never seen it like this. So no. this is search. That's just visited. Like... It's got where you visited. Search for viewed. Yeah. VA. Okay, that's just a, a flight. Yeah, flight then number. Then viewed image. Okay, this could be. Oh. Interesting. It's just the village people. Ah, uh, <laughs> right, right, right. So <laughs> let me guess. <laughs> Okay. Why group. did I search the village yeah, people? Yeah, because there was probably a group chat uh -huh. of some kind going on. Sure. And you were doing something. Might have you were been being homophobic. For, yes. <laughs> There's nothing other than that, that Why you wasn't I celebrating the... Oh, get real, mate. <laughs> get, <laughs> get real, buddy. Maybe yeah, someone yeah. mentioned that they, they were visiting the Oh, YMCA. look, it's a photo of the Opera House. I wonder what that was for. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, to lie to you. Yeah, yeah. Well, to make it playful, the lie more oh, playful. Oh, yeah. To, to segue out of the real undertones that are going on. On to go to, to go to humor and pretend it's not a problem because he joked with you. He's fuming. Yeah. It's actually specifically a comedian reached out to me once about a bit of mine was mm -hmm. similar in mm -hmm. their view to a bit that they did. Yeah. And it was similar, not just in their view. But um and then they said something like, Oh, this is a bit weird, you know, kind of like I suppose didn't completely front up and say, Yeah. Um I suppose they weren't they tried to be like, Oh, this is a bit strange. So it's a bit kind of not Maybe the way I'd approach it, if yeah. it's like either say something and ask for something or don't. Yeah. And um, I was like, oh man, yeah, I've been doing that bit for ages. And then like said the date that I thought I'd been doing it. Yeah. And then they were like, oh, I th think I've been doing it since. And then said like the year before. Oh. And then I'm like, yeah, I think I've been doing it since um, the 80s. I think I sent like a thing of the the uterus or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think they sent a link of them yeah, doing yeah. it back then. Oh, shit. And then I'm like, I sent thing of uterus and then they sent something from like the medieval times and then yeah. I sent like a, oh, no, that's right. I did a, like a recording a from like, um, yeah, I, uh, you know, like an old record kind of gramophone, kind of that sound. Yeah, yeah. Edited that together and then they did one about like cavemen times or something and I'm like... Yeah. And all this time, you guys could have just written new jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But same thing of just like, yeah. now it's gone into humour and now, anyway, it's good not riff. Resolved. I'm yeah, still yeah. going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I got out of the real conversation. Into yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Just not address the problem. Yeah. Yeah. So you're both still doing the bit. Yeah. Perfect strategy. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah I correct. filmed it last week. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's on my mind. <laughs> anyway. yeah. um, the, I do have a. It is a good bit, though, man. 
Thanks. They dude. should make the whole plate out of the black box. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's pretty good. I'm just saying, like, why don't they? Like, that's it was your dad, and that's funny. <laughs> but it was your dad. <laughs> it's crazy to throw that whole story. Yeah, you're yeah. on the bus. I yeah. just don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like yeah. I didn't think of that at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so much more humorous. Why yeah, don't you yeah, on the bus? Yeah. <laughs> um, I can justify the village people if you oh, like. Okay. Yeah, sure. That someone wa- wanted help for a gag on a panel show and they wanted to do a gag about Heath Ledger mm. and they said what well, do you have anything and I was like well it's uh, insane for them to want they the setup for the joke was blah yeah. blah blah Heath Ledger and I was like well that's like a beloved Australian icon yeah, yeah. that they want you, you to write a tragedy, gag yeah. about yeah. like it, that's so you could take an angle like what's next Steve Irwin and Peter Brock you know some shit yeah. like that but then I said the only angle I could come up with is something with Heath Ledger was that you know he was in Brokeback Mountain you know which uh, gay cowboy would have been groundbreaking if the village people didn't do it first yeah. and then the conversation turned to was there a gay cowboy in the village people and so yeah. I had to go look it up to wow to, to yeah. so it did have to do with a <laughs> Joking about gay people, yeah. but it's probably the least homophobic one. <laughs> Thank you. It, it's too bad we know for certain he just made all of that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. man, you can tell us a real story where you just like <laughs> just say Heath Ledger's gay and then put this photo up. Yeah. <laughs> the real Heath Ledger joke is um, a one that I've come up with recently. Actually, it's about how people with Joker tattoos in the city could bash them. <laughs> <laughs> the ones in the country they were good about you. It's Heath, yeah, Heath Ledger's element. Joker is more a country joke. Joker, yeah, whereas like a yeah. Jared Leto Joker is your city Joker. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's it. I, I mean, I should bring. But I, I did have a gag one time. I saw this in Cairns. Yeah, I saw a woman who had a Willy Wonka back tattoo. Whoa. And it was the Johnny Depp Willy Wonka. Did it point? Did it have an arrow? Oh, the Johnny Depp. The did Johnny it, Depp Willy Wonka. Back like a tramp stamp. Was there an arrow pointing no, down that like said "Chocolate Factory"? Shoulder shoulder. That's about her <laughs> yeah. butt and poop. <laughs> Pretty Pretty good. Good. <laughs> yes. You see why people are coming to me for jokes on yeah, their yeah, panel yeah, shows. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bet a few overweight boys have been dragged out of there. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Come on, Cap. You um, got a Willy Wonka gag in you? No, no, no. Well, that's, I was like, that's like getting a, you know, that's like getting the Jared Leto Joker. Oh. Uh, and I was trying to think, mm. I don't think the joke really worked because I was like trying to get other yeah. things that didn't work. And then I'll, you know, you always want like a, a twist one that's fucking uh-huh. not as. Yes. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, oh, a, like the you never find a good. Passion of the Christ. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, a little twisty. Yeah. yeah. What was I feel it? like you're good with the, the, the city country divide. Like yeah. That's a new yeah. angle on it. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll try that out. Yeah. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Too bad it's my I was gag. trying to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, there's been plenty of Hitlers as well. Like, maybe someone, you know, there's a. If someone had a, their favorite Hitler uh, in yeah, movies yeah, yeah, and yeah, TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. The one <laughs> played by, and then just like the name. Of yeah, it. yeah, man. Yeah, that's so yeah, funny. You don't really know the names of the actors that play Hitler. Man, that's a that's character good. actor job. Yeah. Exactly. And, uh, yeah, Downfall. That's a great movie. I yeah. love that. Yeah. That's a good Hitler. Yeah, that's my yeah, favorite Hitler. Hitler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have favorite Hitlers and know yeah, all the yeah, names. Yeah. That's worse than knowing that's about the, Nazi history. If you had two German guys that played Hitler and you're like, not even the da 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 guy in Downfall. Yeah. Isn't that annoying? Germans arguing about the best Hitler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's their Christian Bale? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the end of the bit is you being like, oh, wait, does... Does that not connect with you? You guys don't have favorite Hitler. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, the joke is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I, I kissed Hitler once. I was like, thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got off the bus. Yeah, then yeah. I got off the well, bus. More of a train. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> if only Hitler was built out of a black box. <laughs> he killed himself. Take my Hitler, please. <laughs> He's like, we got a white box. <laughs> this is good anti comedy about Hitler. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're going to be pretty into stand up. <laughs> <laughs> and have listened to an hour of this podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. 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 Uh, anything not else clip. in the search history? Or We've we got a, kid, a, a photo of a kid going yeah. down a hill on a skateboard. Oh, that's a Australian artist. It's Francis something. Like, Ron Francis, yeah. Yeah, he's got this old print of a uh it's a kid about to bomb a hill on a skateboard this and is some uh, art that you're purchasing well that i'm thinking of purchasing also this is 
happens is, you know, this guy becomes a mature man. <laughs> yeah, first Not he- only does he like handkerchiefs now, but like <laughs> on the phone has podcasts. This, this used to be Pamela Anderson's cleavage. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. now we're looking at beautiful uh, artwork that he's yeah. considering investing it in. It is yeah, a good yeah. painting or picture yeah, or whatever yeah, it yeah, is. Good. Yeah. So, you know, and I feel like there's a, it really speaks to me as wow. a. Uh, you wow. shouldn't go down there. There's actually a fence. See? Mm. It's dangerous. Uh, you, you go to you go to purchase it, and they go, um, "Oh man, do, do you skate?" And you go, "No, not anymore. I play tennis now." <laughs> they're like, <laughs> "Cool." They're like, hey, "Well, not so much we tennis, pickleball." Yeah, pickleball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. think when you go and I got buy a long art, board, yeah, the people do the, they, they make you do the activity oh, yeah. that the people. Oh, did the you cut your ear off as well? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a gardener, you're not allowed to buy these. Dude, I haven't melted flowers. a clock in years. <laughs> <laughs> this is good uh, art. This stuff. is good shit. <laughs> also, the implication is that we're all buying but, now yeah. things that are worth $200 million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But you're a man in a pearl necklace. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we're going to sell you just because you wore a pearl necklace? You don't look like anything like this before. (laughs) (laughs) Thinking that you have to be dressed like the person in the painting and then dressing up and going, (laughs) that is the case and they still won't let you have it because you don't look Uh, oh, shit. All that's right. So uh, bad. Should we keep moving unless there's... uh, I'm just trying to um, dig up something. Where uh, can you watch a quiet place one day, Australia? Oh, that's oh, that's just watching, trying to watch. Yeah, a movie. we just yeah, want to yeah, find a movie yeah, and not yeah, pay for it on Amazon. Or you were Prime. just looking for a quiet place yeah. to watch a movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we're just, we're just <laughs> now that place. I'm married, I'm like, where can yeah, I just find a quiet place? God, quiet. God, I don't have a man yeah, cave. Quiet. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, that guy was uh, one of the, oh. I think, the first head writer for SNL. Oh really? Uh-huh. Yeah, and um, and he was in a few of the real early sketches, and we went and saw the new movie about the first ever episode of SNL. Oh yeah, uh, Saturday Night, and it was pretty good. Was but good? Yeah. the guy who plays him is like this absolute hunk. Like, oh really? Yeah, and I was like, I got, I don't remember the real guy looking like this. So yeah, yeah. I went and looked him up, and he's just like some tweety little dweeb. So they've oh, Hollywooded so it, where like some of the some of the casting is amazing. You're like, this looks like young Chevy Chase or whatever, yeah. you know. But then this. This guy they made like a turbo hunk in the movie for some really? reason. Really? <laughs> yeah. Did he write it? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I think uh yeah, it was just a bizarre like glow up for that movie. Yeah. And Dan Aykroyd's like a beefcake which which I found unsettling. That's so wow. weird. Yeah. So that's so cool that um so one of the things was the village people, and then also like after you see movies, you go and check out how hot the guys. <laughs> were the original in real life guys that were. were old. Tell me you don't do that. If you see like a representation of a real life yeah, person, you go and look at the who the and it's yeah. obviously usually wildly. I do often, and this is no offense to anyone. Yeah, I feel like it's a bit um, basic bitch mm-hmm. to. Particularly some movies will do it where they're like based on reality. At the yeah. end in the credits, they'll have like the photos of the real people. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like what I want in a movie that's like a fictionalized version or like a real reality kind of version of like real life mm. is for the vibe of what occurred and the facts and the story to Cinema be captured. Verite. And, but like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> but I don't want just like them to all look exactly like the guys. Like that's <laughs> really? Like a low, really? like, I mean, if you... Can do that, great. Yeah. But like, it's more the story I'm interested in. Of not course. Just like, that's but, more important. But I think the casting sometimes it, it lends it an air of more credibility for some reason. If the person I is guess. Yeah, similar. yeah, yeah. I don't, I I don't think, like it, the Dan Aykroyd hunky. And no, I think if it was, it was too much, uh, I, yeah. always a chunk. I agree. That changes the dynamic of a real scene. Yeah. If like this guy looks like a big dweeb, if he's now a hot guy, that changes the dynamic of. So that mm. that is very relevant to how the story would be portrayed. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. yeah. But people so at the end. agreeing I'm, with Mike. I'm agreeing. But at the end when they're like, this guy looks exactly <laughs> like the same. I'm always yeah. a bit like, okay, okay. You don't like luxuriate in that. I, like, that. I don't really care. I watched that movie Iron Claw, um, which is all right. It was just the wrestlers. Was that a movie or just a game out the front of Coles? <laughs> <laughs> that you're obsessed Both. with? <laughs> it depends what you're into. They made a man. movie out of the game. Yeah, oh, they, they made a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just... <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just got Daniel Day Lewis uh, operating. One Trying of those to get a stuffed animal. <laughs> oh my god! I can't do it's it. Like it really or... does it well though. Yeah, method yeah, acts. Like you played it. Claw. I dropped it on the claw. And the claw did not pick it up. <laughs> I wanted to win a Pikachu. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I deserve that. that. Is my Pikachu. <laughs> The claw went around, but then at the last minute it climbs in and it, it slips out. Oh, that'd be awesome, dude. Oh, yeah. Two hours of Daniel Day Lewis on one of those fucking claw things. <laughs> when I'm rich, that's, what I'm, yelling, that's the kind of shit I'm making. Yeah, he's yelling bastard in a basket yeah, yeah, over yeah. and over again, trying to claw it out. <laughs> Who else uh, would be good? Who else can we do an impression of? <laughs> well, what about Bruce Lee doing it? Oh yeah, do Bruce Lee. Catch I'm not it. familiar with Bruce Lee. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I've never yeah. heard of him. Yeah, Lucy Liu. <laughs> Lucy Liu. She would just be like, "Oh, this claw machine is difficult." Mm. <laughs> okay, she cool. sounds yeah, she's pretty Lucy. poor impression. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. All right. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, quickly. I saw her in claw and 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 uh, what's his name? The the Af- Efron guy. Mm. He, he's got the the jaw and everything, oh, but he yeah. had, he didn't need to do any of that. I saw real photos yeah, of the guy, exactly. and he like he, yeah, man, he didn't need to go under. They get. He looks like He Man. They get. It's like a marketing thing. They get too caught yeah. up in making their nose exactly the same, and it's yeah. like just do some more research into what occurred. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. yeah. Uh, Cashman, it is notes for you, but if you're uncomfortable with that, just choose any of the categories. No notes, I'm fine with. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Give Capper, me that notes. you're looking at. I mean, it's a bit. Um, Boring, but there'll be new jokes. Oh, would you look at this? Joker tattoos in the country. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, you did seem most worried about search history, but... Uh... Yeah, but I just had a look and it was fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right, I was just worried about, I don't know, like, I suppose. Yeah. This is pretty like, good, man. Um, what am I worried got, about? I don't know. It's got... Uh, <laughs> Something sexual like tell that. T- Not tell that I'm Googling sexual things. Yeah, but yeah. like, I could have. Human <laughs> boobs. <laughs> yeah, that is my nightmare. To just like, that Free somehow sex. I've been. <laughs> Free sex. <laughs> Free sex. <laughs> That's the most embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think lady. there's going to be a website being like, yeah, just yeah. click yeah. here yeah. and then it's it. just coming. <laughs> it's like when I'm they imagining say, a website that awesome. It's <laughs> like when you're like on a porn site or something, there's like 40 slots in your area. Mm. I like, wonder if there is just one dude who's like, fucking yeah. Dude. 40? Oh, only oh, even after Jesus one. Christ. <laughs> uh, it says here, tell it if a teammate is an AI. Oh, yeah, that, that's that's um, Taskmaster Task Ideas. Ah, yes. So uh, probably shouldn't read those out. Oh, uh, okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Is Tom probably. Gleason a pedophile? That's, <laughs> yeah, Man, that's, that's that a like task. A crazy <laughs> <game>. <laughs> no. <laughs> How would that task go? No, yeah, that's yeah. a legitimate... Don't go into my search history. I thought <laughs> we were doing notes. I thought we were doing notes. <laughs> um, Dunning Kruger effect graft. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So it's a graft about the dun- uh, penis yeah, seeing in gym. Oh yeah, this is a thing a bit about how a guy. Basically, I, s- I was in the change room hmm. at the gym that I go to, and I've been better at getting my penis out when I was like younger. <laughs> I didn't like so the amazing. idea of anyone yeah. seeing me nude i uh. was quite um because i didn't go to a school where you had to do that in front yeah, of people yeah, or anything yeah. right and um i remember being like 21 and i worked at an office and like a bunch of backpackers worked there like a lot older than me and we go play soccer and then we get changed afterwards and they're all getting their cocks out with guys i work with or whatever yeah, yeah. Hell, like never but now like slowly i think from going there heaps like I'll get You're it fine. out. Like I don't really care. I yeah. think it's an age that I think. I mean, you see old men in the locker room, and it's the most confidence you've ever oh, seen in your life. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I yeah, never yeah. understood how I'd get there. Yeah, but I'm like at my age, of, along the spectrum, almost there. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm like a third of the way. <laughs> but then basically, there, there's a guy, and sometimes you'll see someone else's penis, and that's fine. But there was a guy in there doing like, and I didn't know he was there. I turned because I'll turn like yeah, to, yeah. To, towards a wall or whatever. You were turning penis out. No, I was turning penis in. Okay. Well, I was trying to, to like most of the area. And then it sounds like you were really parading this thing. Yeah. I'm not yeah, turning yeah, it. Yeah, it's like I'm yeah, you just, you're just have your penis out helicopter. for a small <laughs> time. <laughs> <laughs> you just get your pants out, put them back on. You don't need to turn. <laughs> yeah, no, well, what were you doing? It sounds like you've gotten you, worse yeah, about yeah, getting your penis out. You're doing a pirouette. <laughs> you turn before you drop your trousers. Oh, not trousers. Um, uh, towel. Towel, because I've forgotten how to shower. And then you get this towel. And then you get your undies, and I'm they're ready. And then I drop the towel and then I put them on. But I used to kind of like, Sounds like the go under the out. towel and like not see any. And I'm like, no, that's too, <laughs> like, who cares? Yeah. Anyway, point is, I turn around and as I drop, there's a guy doing like waterproofing work, like a tradie. Oh, right. 
and on the ground and he looked up and like he saw my penis which ah. wasn't the same because a yeah. yeah i'm used to when i'm in there like if other people are getting changed yeah. we're all in the someone might see your penis game wow. yes, so we're yeah, equal yes. teammates here yes. so if i might see yours he might see mine but this guy's like at work fully yeah. clothed yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, not yeah. in the change room vibe so him seeing my penis is like <laughs> someone <laughs> looking from intruder. the street yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, there's no so I was like I want to go up there and complain and oh, demand I thought you were going to ask to see his penis yeah demand to see his penis <laughs> okay <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny if he's like, look, I feel Fair bad about this, and he just goes in nude with the tool belt on. <laughs> yeah. and he's just oh, like, yeah. all right, we're on an even playing level now. <laughs> he just does it in a towel, and it falls off every now and then. You're like, all right. But, dude, this is this is amazing because mm. I went through ex- exactly the same thing yesterday. Oh. I went to a, a gym I was unfamiliar with, mm. a leisure center. Mm. You just have those big council leisure centers. Sure. And I had to get into my swimmers mm. and there was like, a, what, a 14 year old kid, I mm. guess, near me. And I was like, okay. uh, you demanded to see uh, his and penis. Like, <laughs> yeah. I've got to get more comfortable. I was angry. No, no, no. Um, I was thinking I'm 42. Is that old enough to get my penis out uh-huh. in the change, like, room. The change room? Do I have to be around 55, 60 year old era or a dad myself mm. before I, and then just to play it safe, I got changed in the showers. Yeah. Right. So yeah. you thought even the context of it being a locker room wasn't enough for a penis out. Yes. So yeah. when there's just one other pe- person there and it's a Was just boy. the one kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I would probably not. I'd at least turn. Yeah. yeah. But I think no. you're allowed to turn, turn. Sounds like you'd be turning anyway. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're turning like away. You're doing so. a full Billy Elliot. Yeah, yeah. You're making it seem like I do a pirouette every time. No, I turn away. <laughs> the and Willy then Elliot. the thing, the towel goes down. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so, turning after revealing. So, dude, yeah. that, that was so weird because I was thinking exactly the same thing, like in a different manner, like how old do you have to be right. to be a penis out? Because you thought it would be construed. So, as you're not creepy. one yet. Hey? You're not one yet. If you went to like a, what if you there were like ten guys there and everyone's just doing their own business and everyone's getting changed, yeah. you would go into the shower still. Yeah, I think so. But plus, also, my group of friends and all, all we talk about is funny shit. Is old guys that are fucking just parading around with their dicks out. Yeah, you don't yeah. have to parade. And I am that insecure about being old that I don't want to be one of them yet. I'm you still, think I'm you're still so young. old you're one of the old guys with their balls all long in the no. well, dude, it's like a steady 40 slope. years away from yeah. that. Man, it's a steady slope, right? You're getting your dick out soon enough you're in a, you got a walking frame. Yeah, but it's you still know, those I'm dudes are geriatric. I'm, it's linked to your mortality to I'm, you. I'm, 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 you <laughs> to, to reveal your penis in a change room makes you worry about death. Yeah, yeah, that's it, dude. Yeah, it's, yeah that's so you're, funny. you're like the yeah. second my penis is out, I'll be in a walking frame. It's See, like, that's is, not true. This yeah. is my bit so now. Many years so the longer the balls, the shorter the life. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. Life. This yeah. is my. Yeah. No, it's not your. The more the penis out. <laughs> well, no, you have Joker. I get this. <laughs> I get mortality dick out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great, man. All, All right, right quickly, quick, with quickly. your phone, because we got to wrap this up. Yeah. Uh, Capper, in your phone, I am looking at. That is camera roll. Camera roll. For camera, camera roll. Shit. I haven't got anything here. Oh, I've got one thing that's pretty funny. Yeah. I was trying to do it, man. You're going to see it. No, you just show it to me. So, yeah. It's got. Is it the. It's you and. Pickleball? Brian playing pickleball. And where, then just that collage of photos is pickleball, and then there's 9 11 underneath it. Yeah, I was going to put 9 11 behind you guys <laughs> playing pickleball, which I just thought would be so funny. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, just I like Kappa's <laughs> comedy style. Most people think of a premise. Yeah. <laughs> so they'll come up with some sort of like funny premise or like concept or kind of like opinion. Yeah. And then they'll extrapolate that opinion. And then that could lead to funny scenarios. And they'll think of how that, that those opinions or that, that concept could be extrapolated mm. and what kind of funny scenarios that could result in. You think of the funny scenarios without any premise at all. And then try and backwards come up with a premise that makes that make sense at all. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and just... sometimes you can think of one and sometimes you can't. Yeah. You start with 9 11 and Brickleball, great. And then as you're making it, you're like, why? Who? Well, I'll figure that out later. There is yeah, no yeah, why. Yeah, 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 there is yeah. no why. Yeah. 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 Why leads to <laughs> doubt. <laughs> <laughs> why leads to I'm going to die. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is wisdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is yeah, like yeah. Yoda. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> why leads to doubt? You just got to go and do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to do more of that in my life. There is. There's no why. Yeah, there's, there's only no do. Why. There's only do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Uh, that is beautiful. We got to end the episode on that, baby. Right. I don't know. Uh, there's nothing else I really got. No, that's fine. Just like, bringing beers. Um, now, Cashman, yeah. just quickly, yeah. right? You don't have to do a hack. Oh, sure. You don't have to. Mm. But I do have a suggestion. Okay. It's pretty cruel. Oh. <laughs> it's not cruel to you. It's not cruel to me. But I was thinking you could. Text, well, no, it's not cruel I, I to hang- Cashman. I think it's cruel to whoever yeah, the was, subject of it is. I was oh. um, hanging out with Cameron Duggan on yes. the weekend. Love the guy. Oh, and man. I was thinking you could text him and go, hey, man, weird situation. Someone has pulled out a Taskmaster at last minute. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's funny. This to is like it. this is like when Cambo hacked into Jared McGowan years ago yeah. his Facebook and posted, "I got Comedy Zone." <laughs> that and yeah. everyone was like, "Congratulations!" Yeah, and he hadn't. No, it's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he had to explain all these people. Not only was he disappointed it hadn't occurred, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, good yeah. now he's got all these people congratulating him for something. I <laughs> think the only way, because it's a text, the only way to soften mm. that up would be you text him and you go, "Hey, man, have you ever thought about being on Taskmaster?" And mm. then let that sit for a while, and they go, "Sorry, sorry, I'm an air tasker." Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> This is uh, it's also me. This is the cruelest thing I can <laughs> <laughs> get to a point where I finally yeah. have some sort of um, opportunity yeah. on television. Like yeah, my yeah, career yeah. has taken a step yeah, in a positive yeah. direction. Yeah. I can finally take a breath to some degree of like yeah. got some financial security. Yeah. Yeah. Now time to kind of pretend <laughs> to help others <laughs> and have them imagine that I'm helping them. And ha, no, ha, yeah, ha, ha. I know. Anyway, uh, yeah, good, uh, good to chat, Doug. And haven't haven't seen you. Well. Yeah, yeah. well, dude. We bring up, we bring people on with more successful careers. They're like, you're our puppet now. <laughs> hey, little puppet boy. I know. Yeah. Just the pivot to sorry, sorry, air tasker was funny to me, yeah. but oh, don't do any no, of it. No, oh, yeah, look, yeah. it's the yeah, no, it's the cruelest idea I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, considering yeah. man. It was just a funny, funny thing. Uh, a comic was talking to us. Mm. He said, oh, he was talking about a joke or something. And this is, this is, the, um, we're going to leave on a good note here. Oh, okay. This is how, such a, how much of a good bloke you are. Mm. They, the guy was like, someone gave me a note about my set, you know, that I shouldn't be so confident. <laughs> I'm not really that confident. <laughs> Don't be so Who confident. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I was like, we were like, oh, yeah, well, dude, you know, you're confident. You're like, you know, you, you can do whatever you want. It's comedy, you know? Yeah. And, he, and, and then we're like, Name, name him. Who gave you the advice, right? Who gave you the advice? And he goes, Tom Cashman. And then we're like, oh, well, it's kind of granted, man. You are a bit confident sometimes. <laughs> we fully backpedaled. I don't know. Who I is this? Know this story at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who? Who am I telling <laughs> to be less confident? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It, well, you, it was a note. Like a, it was a what note. What are you talking about? <laughs> so this is a comedian who said this. Yeah. That I've, I don't remember. You told to be like, I don't know the story. Yeah, yeah. Is this yeah. like a new comedian? <laughs> Maybe like a newish one. Newish. I don't. Just something to me. I don't know the story. No, at no, all. no. You don't know the story. But <laughs> but this is how much Capo of a was, guy I you was are. Ex- expecting me to like jump <laughs> in and like note. clarify. But now you're like backing away from it. No, no, no. Do you no, not no. want to name the person? Is this? No, because it's like I don't know. It's a woman who he told not to be confident. No, people don't like man. confident women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, do, I definitely <laughs> he didn't tell someone women, to be he less. He tells confident. women that all the time. Yeah, but it, it, it was it was surprising that it was a man. This you said a bit mouthy for a bro. So, you, so you're saying. <laughs> You're framing this as like a nice thing because you, when you heard out, you heard it was me giving the advice. All of a sudden, you agreed with it. Well, it was, was all your... three people that were like at the same time. Oh, that's nice. All were like, but oh, also, wow. yeah, the main thing that I'm curious about after that story isn't accepting the compliment, which yeah. I do appreciate. Yeah. It's like, who? Was it was it? so funny because comedians were just so spineless and and backflip or whatever. Because yeah, we're all like, oh man, no, don't worry about that shit. And he's like, yeah, it was Cashman. And we're like. Oh man, it's, <laughs> it's it's a friend. So you're just like, oh, you have no, no, Cashman. He was probably coming at it at it from a critical angle. You know what I mean? I like reckon I definitely angle. didn't say be less confident to someone. I feel like they've kind of changed it. Whatever I don't I know. I, yeah, well, you obviously, said, don't say names. I think you we'll... said. Stop, stop don't be, be yourself stop being so confident just be the little worm you are you freak <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no okay. we'll say after we'll, we'll, yeah, say we'll, yeah. I need to justify myself <laughs> but no I don't think I would have said that to someone and okay. I'll get on record wait yeah. so you want to whisper it to you you want to know who it is I, I mean if I could know I could give a bit more yeah. but no we'll but leave it they know who it is get so on the Patreon Hannah Gatsby we'll... <laughs> 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 you said can you be less butch <laughs> 
to go up to someone like making some groundbreaking political thing and be like, if you could stand further away from the mic, I think you're <laughs> like really far back yeah, from the mic. It'd be hey, way that's funny. just my advice. <laughs> Oh, oh shit. great episode, dude. man! Fucking thanks so awesome. much for doing Thank this. Thanks so much for thanks coming. Always the best. Do you have anything you got to plug? Uh, Taskmaster's on at the moment with Chetta Coristo and oh, others, I heard but, it's a um, cracking season. Um, yeah, friend of the pod. Yeah, she's had she's had some very very funny moments. Oh um, yeah, and I will do. I filmed a special that will come out at some point. Oh, great. That's probably enough. And, and I like I'm doing that one. And I've got a pod with Taunton called Really Good Stuff. And oh, the yeah, great. special's called King of the Twinks. <laughs> King of the Twinkies. No, no it's not. Yeah. It's yeah. called Queen of the Twinks. <laughs> oh, Queen of the Twinks. <laughs> it's called Joker in the Country. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got a special coming out soon. Hell yeah. Um, finally. Uh, mid-November so make sure you check that out it's the best thing I've ever done yeah oh, finally yeah. finished and also I'm do- I'm running a beer festival called world's smallest beer festival it's nice. a brew manity uh, beer uh, hall in South Melbourne on November 30th I think there's still early bird tickets so you can still save 10 bucks if you get one now yeah oh, so you yeah. pay 60 bucks all your beers are included I'm hosting the day it's going to be sick. Fun. Come along. And a solo show for me on the Gold Coast, November 9th. Get along oh. to that. And then oh. also, I think I'm doing a solo in Perth in the Holiday Taint, December 27th. Oh, wow. At Oasis Comedy Club. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tis the season to be j- jolly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was trying to think of something that was what like, were you tis the say? season to be. No, no, this is great. This could be a caption for an Instagram post. <laughs> yeah. Uh, tis the season to be Jewy. <laughs> Dude, Joey, that's not bad. <laughs> kind of is. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you guys on the next one. See you. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye.